Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel and welcome again to a new episode on how to. Uh, very sorry first of all, it's been three weeks I haven't up to, uh, uploaded any videos. Unfortunately my first job is taking too much time. So anyway, let's go and start this. As you remember last time, I well it wasn't last time, I think it was three uh, tutorials ago. I showed you how to install and get started with the Moby Rise. You had a little bit look pretty good for you know 992 at the moment today I found another program who works also on Windows and uh, believe it or not even Linux Windows and Mac of course I am on Windows today I'm going to show you how to install it and get started with Pingendo I'm going to download the 64 bit and I'm going to save it to my desktop as usual well is downloading don't forget to subscribe like my videos uh, without your like and without your sharing I you know I can't it's very hard to get uh, you know to do these videos so please help and the only way you can actually do it at the moment is by sharing my videos and liking my videos and share the word thank you again this is my of course my YouTube channel you can follow me also on Twitter and my website I'll do my website soon it's going to change so get in touch uh, as well if you want to be part of these changes as you can see here um, anyone in South Wales who wants to be part of these uh, open source creations and help me to do more videos please get in touch so we can have some collaboration there we go uh, the actual file has been downloaded I'm going to open the containing folder minimize my browser uh, I was doing something so I removed that now and there we go we got pingendo 64 here double click and I'm going to extract the setup file and I'm going to extract on my desktop there we go that's done let me remove this we don't need it anymore and I'm going to close this folder I'm double clicking on setup press yes I agree by the way I go back again I press agree I already read the well most of it the uh, the license agreement then I press agree and then install I'm going to see the details here Move it a bit so it's extracted and that's the folder okay that's closed now and I'm going to delete this file for now as I don't need it make it a little bit more there there we go this is Pingendo now as you remember Moby Rice this is more or less the same so I'm going to press on Pingendo maximize and it came up with two uh, it looks like this is the new version exactly so I click here to create a new page and you get the blank page and landing page already made for you um, if you go on their website you can find some templates that other people in the community makes and make available to all to download and get started let's get started with the landing page I'm gonna click it and it's going to as you can see load it inside very easy to use like just the other one Moby Rise uh, double click here and as you can see as easy as that you can change the alignment left middle right the text color you can have white as it is blue red yellow you know and also the size I think this is the biggest size h1 to go to h6 as you can see here so we go back to h1 and like the other one all you need to do for example if I want the maps all I need to do is just drag and drop where I want it I can you know I can put it here as you can see click here Oh, this is to add photograph sorry about this guys 
here you can actually add your maps that you have saved from maps in Google if you want to change this and you want to add a photograph here all you need to do just click here choose the one already inside the system you know, the program or if you want to choose a different one on off your machine just click this icon and then you choose whatever you got in your um, document for example here if I go to pictures sample pictures and I'm going to choose that there we go that's been done as you can see it like anything else it works exactly the same like mobilize click here for example here you can put the, uh, the address if you want to or you can actually add images pages PDF and you want otherwise just type HTTP call that And there we go now when you click on the click me it will redirect you to google like the others you can add images again just click click on the right choose the image you want if you don't like those ones just click here and add your own as i showed you menu exactly like the other ones if i go here sections you can have with branding and this is the new one I just showed you and you can do the background image just like the other one like this one here I just made a new one now if I'm going to see if I can undo that no it's not let me do it but anyway if you want to just let's see if I go down a little bit let's say I want to add just the the menu you, here the brand you can put you, you can actually write also there's a way to do it by adding your own logo your png file here you can see you can actually add your menu if i double click on this i can actually add, add the link to whatever i wanted to images or anything like that there we go anyway now let's start another one a blank one so i'll show you how easy it is to start and make a web page i'm going to confirm that open that open blank there we go it's very simple this is the header then i'm going to choose an image i'm going to choose a different color you need to make sure that the color is visible if not perhaps you need to change the image there we go this is a little bit better the brand let's see if i can change the writing so i can see logo there we go here we got the the menu let's see at home I'm going to leave this one here on the contacts I'm going to choose something else let's see if I can do this desktop let's see if I got an HTML on desktop here I don't have anything here so anyway Let's say I got on contacts, I'm going to put HTTP like before. There we go, that's done there. Now, of course, you can actually add more. Um, you can actually add more in the menu. Brand, you can have text as it is, or you can actually have image. By clicking image, as you can see here, then you can change that to whatever you want of course unfortunately i don't have any logo but all you need to do is click here and add your logo let's say i'm going to put this image i don't know if it's going to do here as you can see it also here the beauty you can actually resize the logo to whatever you want really uh, let's see 
let's say I go here, I'm going to make it uh, 20 pixels. There we go. And as you can see here, now if I go down, the logo is much bigger. Of course, you put on a PNG with uh, the background. So once that's been done, I'm going to add extra content. Something like that. Let's see. Here we go. Change this one to new title. So you can see it. Title there. And I'm going to add an extra two image. This is how quick is actually you know possible to create a website. course you can delete all this and copy and paste if you have uh, something on your uh, you know desktop and I want to show you something I'm going to put something between this and this part of here I'm going to put some slides there we go this is slides here once I click it I'm going to add the first slide And as you can see, when I push this one here on the right side, I'm going to click and I'm going to add carousel. Click on this one here. I'm going to put a new one here. And I'm going to the next one. Again, carousel. I'm only going to do a few of them. Of course, if you want, you can actually add a link to each picture. I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you. Of course, you can change the title and the description on each photograph by double click. You can see it. Once you're ready, all you need to do is you can save it. Let's say I do on desktop. I'm going to say index. I'm going to copy on this one here. I'm going to save it. Or if I minimize this a second, there we go. We got here the actual file itself. Uh, as you can see, it the website is nearly done. Of course, I haven't spent any time, you know, but. As you can see, if I click on this, as I showed you before, we got the slideshow and it works perfectly well. Anyway, thanks again. Unfortunately, as I said, this is just a quick get uh, installation and getting started. So I'll, I hope to make a new uh, tutorial soon. Don't forget, you can follow me on my website, on Twitter, and of course, on my YouTube channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.